Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my videos. All right, in today's video, we are doing another modification to the garage. Today, we are gonna be putting a TV in this plywood right here. Now, in my last video, you guys saw me install the new motor for the garage. It does require Wi-Fi for it to work on my phone. So I figured out a way to get Wi-Fi in here. I bought this at Best Buy, but the idea was given to me by my friend Conchi and my boy Santi. Both of them gave me the idea of on how to expand Wi-Fi to my garage. Since we got Wi-Fi in here now, there's one thing that I've been wanting to put in the garage for the longest, but it doesn't work without having Wi-Fi. And that is gonna be this TV right here. Now, in one of my videos, I told you guys that my girlfriend moved in. This is her TV. We didn't have any need for this TV because I already have a TV. But when I told her if I can keep it and put it in the garage, she reminded me that I do need Wi-Fi in order for me to watch like YouTube videos, Netflix, Hulu, etc. So the idea of me just having a TV there sitting and not doing anything but being on was pointless. So I never installed it. So I left it just sitting where we had it. But now that we got Wi-Fi, and a laptop we can connect our laptop to the TV and we can also connect the TV to the Wi-Fi so we can now watch whatever YouTube DIY video we need to watch it's really complicated to have a lot of DIY videos in your phone so having a TV there while I work on the car it's gonna make life so much easier. This is the TV right here. There's nothing really special about it. It's just your typical little smart TV. One of the things about this that I am actually really happy with is the remote. This is the remote right here. Now, what I like about this remote is that on the back side you have this keyboard and you don't gotta go up and down, left and right in order for you to choose letters. You can just click on them here. But for passwords, this is all capitalized, so you gotta actually go and do this. I plan on putting the TV right there. I wanna mount it onto the actual plywood. I don't know how heavy the TV is gonna be for this plywood, so I am gonna put another wood connected to the two x four here and the two x four there. So I have this other two x four. Well, I think this is a, a six by eight. I don't even know what this is, but, but I got this piece of wood right here that I plan on sticking to those two x fours. So it's gonna go on like this and then I'm gonna mount the actual TV bracket to this piece of wood right here. I went to Home Depot and bought this. It's a brand new wood. I love working on new wood. Now for the TV itself, it's not gonna be that complicated to put on. All we need is two bolts here, two bolts there. And then this has hooks on the back and they get hooked on like this rail right here. And then we have this like safety pin that you gotta slide in through here. And that just locks everything in place so nothing falls out. I have my dad's level right here. I don't want the TV to be crooked while it's mounted onto the wall. So we're going to make sure that we have it nice and level. I've been wanting this TV in the garage for the longest. But now that we got Wi-Fi, we can finally set it up. So I'm going to go ahead and put you guys in the tripod. And I'm going to go and set it up. So I got the 6x8 mounted onto the 2x4. I went ahead and put three screws here and then three screws right here. I'm gonna put these somewhat shorter screws in the middle so that they can get onto the actual plywood. That way they have a little bit more of a reinforcement. So I ended up just putting three of them right in the middle. These are just mounted onto the plywood and these three right here are mounted onto the actual two by four of the garage. So now we're gonna set up the TV mount. So we got the TV bracket right here. Like I said, two bolts on each end. I got the level in the middle so that we can make sure the TV is straight. So let's go ahead and slap this bad boy on. On the back of this TV, we have the rest of the wall mount assembly. Now, I didn't put this up. My girlfriend already put this on the TV. And all I gotta do is use those hooks right here. Hook onto that metal piece in the wall. This safety pin right here is gonna go through the top. As you guys can see, they have like a hole cut out in the middle. The bottom ones don't have it, but the top ones do. So I'm gonna slide the pin through there. It's a little crooked, ain't it? All right, I just finished setting up the TV. I still need to put that safety pin in the back, 
But I don't know if you guys can tell, but the TV isn't exactly straight. It's a little bit like this. So I feel like it, adjust, it readjusted when I put the screw in. So Aisha says we should just leave it. So I do think I'm gonna leave it. It ain't that bad, honestly. I feel like if you want to actually look for the crookedness, you can see it. So all I'm gonna do right now is put the safety pin connected to this extension cord that I already have set up here. And then I'm gonna turn it on and make sure everything works. And then I'll give you guys an update. All right, the TV is now set up. It's working just fine. We're not having any kind of issues with it. YouTube works, Netflix works. And those are the two main ones that I'm gonna be using this TV for. I plan on turning down the car this whole winter. And now that we got this here, it is gonna make things more enjoyable. So I'm really happy that we got this set up now. I plan on having this here for as long as it can possibly be so I ended up fixing it because I didn't like the way it was crooked. That is going to be it for today's video though guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did don't forget to like and subscribe. I am trying to post as much as possible now so I'm trying to record everything that I can possibly record. So this is Javi from Javi's Productions and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned.